guns should be put down, period. I mean, I don't think anyone should be walking around here with guns. We want this community and our, our state to be a safe place and not a place where, you know, is scared to be living in and you're scared for your children. We ask that you continue to give us the strength to carry on, to continue to love us, mind, body, and soul. Father, just be with us and take care of us. Keep us in your wing, keep us safe, Father God. Not only my son has got murdered by a gun, my father has gotten murdered by a gun back in 89. My uncle has gotten murdered by a gun in 90. Then my sister, got shot in the head um, just accidentally um, back in 16, and then 20 was my son. It has affected my family tremendously. It's like I'm very, very traumatized from how the gun violence has occurred, you know, in this, this community, in this, this, this state. We are losing lives out there. Um, and again, one young person is one too many for us as a community. Like in many of our cities, um, we are not immune to teen gun violence. Um, you see it um, when you turn on the news everywhere, um, whether it is Chicago, whether it's Atlanta, whether it's Dallas, or whether it's Fort Worth, or if it's Mansfield. So the One Second Collaborative was an opportunity to say, we know that within one second, our young people can make a choice, good or bad, positive or negative. But when we collaborate together with all of those partnerships that do this work day in and day out, that was an opportunity for us to come together to look at what can we do right now. The police department, they did create the gun violence unit is a specific way that uh, Chief Noakes saw that, you know, that this was becoming an issue, not just across the country, but specifically in our area as well, and really took the initiative to start this unit that only deals with gun violence. And dealing with the non-fatal gun violence is where we're trying to stop it before it becomes a fatality. I think part of it is that they are not stopping to think about the consequences, and there is a lack of respect for human life, their own life, as well as the lives of others, that they don't think through consequences as much. Whereas a few years ago, maybe people would get into a fist fight. That is one thing I have heard over and again, not just from the young people, but from the older people who I've dealt with as shooting victims. Many of them said, I thought we were just gonna throw hands. I thought we were just, I was just gonna fight this guy. And then he pulled out a gun. And then when I end up talking to that other person, the person who did the shooting, they say, did you look at the size of that guy? There was no way I was gonna fight him. I would get beaten up. And so it was just easier to pull out a gun to settle the problem that way. I just pray and hope that, you know, we can touch a lot of young individuals and get them to turn away from even that, going in that direction, you know? And I'm not saying turn away from, you know, doing negative things. I want to turn them into doing positive. I pray and hope that our program can touch young individuals as, as a whole and try to get them to do what's right and not what's wrong.